I'll tell you what, hi, welcome back to the Kicking System. I'm John Maddox, and today we've got former San Diego Charger kicker, Ralph Bernushka, on the show, and uh, I'm going to ask him a few questions. How are you doing today? Good, thank you. Um, Ralph, talk to us a little bit. What do you think is the most important thing when it comes to the kicking game? You know, we talk a lot about locking out and following through. What do you think is one of the most important things? Oh, yeah. That's a tough one. I, I think, uh, first of all, I don't think kicking is that hard. I think there are a lot of people that want to kick it all over. Especially nowadays, with all this. If you kick a goal kick correctly, you can hit it end over end without a turn. It really end over end so the forward can trap it on his chest. And, you know, then you can kick it from home. So mechanically, I think it's that difficult, especially for the soccer player. I think where, where you get separated out is how you handle all the other stuff. How do you handle misses, how do you handle the going in there and you get one chance? How do you go handle you know, connecting with your teammates? Because you know, by definition, our position is different. We're isolated, we're separated. We don't go through the stuff that the other players go through. So we have to work extra hard to be accepted by our teammates. So that means you know, working out with them. Supporting them, being the dummy guy on the drill, uh, in any way you can. And then, of course, you have to move your way by kicking. But I think that's where you get how important it is to do those little things. So, I think the kick part, you guys are always got their own theory about it. I think you have to be strong. Uh, I think you got to be able to hit it cleanly. Get it up correctly, and I, and I think you've got to be able to hit it so it's you know end over end. Not so you got to learn to play hook. You got to get it end over end, and that's what a good goal kick does. I mean, think you can kick your football, and then I think you know you just can't over kick. You get a dead leg, and then you start to leverage it, and then you want to go back. So you know you kick. Each time you kick, it's with a specific purpose. If you make it like it's the last kick of the game, and you don't kick ten balls at the same spot, you kick one or two, and then you move it, so you're continually having to get repositioned like you would in the game. Now, Ralph, I know we're here at the Drew Brees golf tournament, and uh, you know, how did you shoot today, by the way? You know, I shot 78, and uh, and I lost it moving around. It was a little disappointing. Um, yesterday, I shot. Even with three under coming for the last hole and they trip on the last hole. Ugh. So, you know, my game is uh, you know, a few holes there I, I've got to get through and not have to be too much of a train wreck. But I learned the sport late, love it, and uh, I get frustrated by it too. Do you think some of this golf relates a little bit to the kicking game mentally, maybe? Oh, I, there's no doubt about it. You know, you know, trust is one. I don't think I trust it even when you start missing it, you got to trust it. Yeah. You can't get quick. You can't see in golf and you're ready to get quick. And I think in football, same way you get hit, you can get quick or you try to overhit it, especially if you're a little quicker out and you're over it. You're much better off hitting it purely in the ball. There's a lot of similarities. Last few questions for you, Ralph. Um, you know, you spent some time with the Charger. What do you think was your success for staying there for so long? You know, I was lucky. I played 10 years. Um, I got sick in my second season. Halfway through my third, I had an injury well, I was very lucky to survive. I thought I'd play again. And really, by the kindness of our owner, we climbed. And I first got Corey, I was given a chance to compete for my job and was able to play again. I, I could kick it straight. I, I could kick it straight. And I think that that was probably the most important. And I got it up with it. I think uh, there was an early on knock about soccer talent figures saying a little lower. And some people did. They really did, and they still do. And for whatever reason, I, maybe I have a small foot. I could, you know, get my my foot on the ball and jump up, and that was never an issue for me. Um, and then I learned to train. I think. Although I look back now, I certainly didn't train like they train today. Right. Today it's a 12-month job, and that's good and bad. I mean, I think it's good you get stronger. I think there's a need to get away from the sport for a while. 
do other things. And, um, with, with the money now and the, the focus on you know, these OTAs and all, um, you don't get away enough. And, and I don't know that that's good. Last question for you. I know, uh, were there any special kick out there that you remember that you did, or like a trick shot that you maybe tried to hit the post three times in a row? Anything you ever tried crazy and wild back in the day? I guess I wasn't that good. Yeah. No, I, I think we didn't try this. You know, we used to every now and then go on the sideline and try to kick it. So you go as close as you can to the end line. Yeah. Yeah. Kick it. And uh, that, needs to work, that was always easier for me because I don't hook the ball or fade the ball and hit it straight. So that was always kind of a good practice for us, actually. We like doing that. Like, uh, that not like those commercials I have out there. <laughs> and uh, right now, who's your favorite kicker in the NFL? You know, anyone special? Well, we have a really good one here in San Diego, Nate yeah. Katie. Um, in fact, I was talking to Jan Stenner earlier today about you know, why there's not another kicker in the, in the whole thing. And Jan clearly was the guy that you know, changed kicking and deserves to be there. But there are other, some other kickers now that I think uh, are, are great guys that have to be there changing the money. I think, to me, the best kicker ever to kick was Gary Anderson. Um, probably doesn't hit the athlete. He's not a self promoter He's a really quiet guy, a really decent guy. You know, Morton, Anderson was a great kicker, but honestly, you know, I think Gary was so pure, did so well, played in all these different, really difficult ballparks, a lot of different holes, a lot of different you know, centers, which makes an enormous difference. I mean, the average fan has no appreciation for how much easier it is to kick when you have a good center when the ball is just caught and the guy gets to put it down. Um, San Diego's had a phenomenal center. Dave Dan is probably one of the best ever. Their kickers have been great. Partly as a result of that, partly John Carney's a phenomenal kicker. But Nate Kading has benefited from you know, a great snapper and a good holder. Um, but I would say right now, my, my favorite's Nate. I, I really like him. No, I, I agree with you. No, I, I was with the bike to go at Gary Anderson camp, so I learned a lot from him. And you're right, I mean, 50 yards and in, never really hits that. Uh, yeah. The ball so purely hit it. Yeah. He's played in Candlestick, he played in Pittsburgh, and he played in everything all over in a couple places. Well, Ralph, thanks for your time. You bet. Good luck the rest of the tournament. Thank you.